Coming up in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to connect MemberPress and LearnDash to make your courses work well together with your membership. Coming up. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is to go to LearnDash because that is where the integration plugin is. So I'm going to come over here. Now, by the way, before I begin, I would like to say if you buy LearnDash using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my LearnDash Mastery course. All you have to do is to drop me an email to say you've purchased it and also with your invoice number. And also, if you buy MemberPress, I will also give you access to the uh, MemberPress course as well. All right, so what we need to do here is is I've gone ahead, uh, by the way, and installed LearnDash and MemberPress. So if I come over here to uh, LearnDash, all I have to do is to come all the way down here to add-ons. So this is where the add-on is. So you can see here we have several add-ons. We have uh, WooCommerce here, LearnDash, and so on. But um, let's come all the way down here. There we go. So MemberPress for LearnDash. So this is where the integration is. So Sometimes, you know, I mean, it just be a bit confusing for me because I thought the uh, integration was over at MemberPress side of things. So it is here under Learn Dash. So once you click install and activate, this plugin gets activated. Now, you won't see much of a change, to be honest, after you've done this. But uh, let me show you what happens. So we're going to go ahead and pretend like we are creating a course and then see how things will work. All right. So I'm going to come over here to courses. And I'm going to add a brand new course. So I'm just going to click on add new. So let's call this Mac course, right? Let's add some, no, a bit of some dummy text in here just to give this a bit of a description. So in fact, let's go and use the default editor. So I'm just going to add a bit of text in here. And I'm also going to add a, let's see, we need to add a featured image. So I'm going to click over here and the image I'm going to add is, let's go with this one here. All right, so I'm going to click on set featured image. So now my featured image is there. I'm going to publish this, publish one more time. And now I can view this course and I'm going to do this in a new tab. So here we go. We have our course, but of course I haven't added all the lessons to it. Okay. So now that we have our course set, how do we then integrate this with MemberPress so that when people buy this course, they are going to be added on to the right membership? All right, so now I'm going to click on back to courses and over here on member press, we have our memberships. So here you can add your membership and perhaps you could call this a max course if you want to. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is the, uh, the, the membership for max course. So I can add my pricing here. So let's say this is uh, $10 and this is a lifetime and it is a one time payment. All right, so now that I've added that, I mean, I mean, I could go ahead and uh, add a bit of a description here as well about this membership, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. Hit publish. Okay, great. So uh, remember, I mentioned that uh, sometimes when you go and try and see where the integration is, it's quite uh, confusing and it doesn't really show. Now, let me show you what happens here. So you see here, we've added our membership. Membership. We now have a tab here called Learn Dash. So over here now, I have my courses. So you can see Mac course and my new course. But uh, before I can show you this, I want to show you what you need to do first for this to work. So if I go over here to settings, and this is the settings of the member press, by the way, if I click here on Learn Dash, I need to run this uh, re retroactive tool. <laughs> All right, so uh, once this runs, this is what's going to show all the uh, necessary things on our website. So you can see here we have Max course and we also have the silver membership. Okay, so now I can go back to my courses and let's go to Max course, edit. Okay, so now that I have the course over there, you can, uh, I forgot to mention that you can come over here and add uh, more things like, let's say, video description for your course and so on. So uh, over here on uh, the settings, you want to make sure that you set your course to closed. And uh, the reason why you want to do that is because you want to make sure that MemberPress controls this payment of this course because it has all the um, payment systems. Okay, so now that I have all this set, I'm just going to hit update. And now I'm going to go over here now to back to courses. Now, when I go now to MemberPress and click on rules, let me show you what happens. So over here, I can add a new rule to say, 
for my content here, it's going to be courses. I'm going to scroll all the way down here so you can see here we have all courses. So you can do this as a single course. So I'm going to start typing here. And remember, we said the course is called a Mac course. And here it is. And then over here on the access conditions, I can click on this drop down and say membership. And then this is Max course members. So this is now the, the membership that I created over here. So now I can save this rule. So when people now buy my course, they're going to get access to the Mac members course and they'll be added onto that membership. And uh, also I noticed something when I was uh, taking a look here at the payments. So if I come over here to memberships, so for this particular membership, if I hit edit, you're going to notice that we are going to have an extra tab here called Learn Dash. So what we can do as well is we can use this tab to say, okay, when someone purchases this uh, course or this membership, add them to my new, uh, no, to Max course. So anyone that buys this membership here, which is $10, by the way, they get added automatically to Mac course. So this is how the integration works. You don't have to go in and do the, all this manually. So I know I've had a, quite a few questions from people saying, well, I have member press now. Is this going to work with my website? So this is pretty much what you need to do. You can do it manually over here. But as I showed you, you can also come over here to the rules, set all your rules and make sure that when people buy, this is the access they get for this uh, course. So again, if you create, let's say, another membership, you can add different, different people to that membership. So let's say this membership here is a lifetime membership and it gives access pretty much to all the courses on the, uh, on the website. All you have to do is to come over here and make sure you just check all the courses under that lifetime membership. So this is how you would do it. But if it's an individual course for an individual membership, you just have to select the course over here and that's how it works. So uh, I'm just gonna hit update. And pretty much that's it. And in the previous video, I uh, showed you how to create the landing page for the course itself. So you can go and check that out. Uh, I'll link that in the video description below so that you can see how that works. All right. So pretty much that's all I have for you to, uh, in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.